Good morning, developers. Look at this stunning day. And happy Monday, obviously. Honestly, I like Mondays, especially on days like these, because you get to soak up all the energy from the outside. First thing on the agenda, grab some lunch, because I'm hungry as a hell. <laughs> Let's go. Eleven. I guess we'll just have to check back at eleven then. <laughs> Got myself a sandwich. Now I'm definitely a happy developer. Looks like the tides have turned. We got rain. We just got done with uh, user testing for the Capstone project. We're like two days away from turning it in. So to give you kind of a rundown of what the project was, it's, so I'm a senior in college, in, in a university, and in order to graduate, I have to finish a senior design, a senior design project. So we get these clients that come in, basically, and they want a project done. And, and each group from the class chooses a project they want to do, and they choose them as a client, basically, for the next six months of work. And you know, the first three months basically is all planning, it's all documentation, and then the last three months, you do the actual work, you actually build the uh, build. And for us, the project was uh, was basically to create a website type, a web, and, a be, and a website that something like a student would use. So as a student, if you're a student in a university, you probably use some kind of website that's like a blackboard where you know you log on, you know, you check your grades, you know, you take quizzes, you know, and then you have an instructor who grades those quizzes, those assignments, and so on. And for us, basically, it's it was a similar thing. It was you know to create this website for instructors and students within a small addition, and that addition was group work. So what we have is when an instructor creates an assignment in on this you know this platform, this website, this system. In order for for people to actually do the assignment they have to log in with the group so they choose their group members and they log in with the group to do the actual assignment and that's the only time they can actually put in the answers and the whole point of this is to encourage group work like as I said we finished the user testing we're like very close to to being done and and I and I and I start thinking about like what are the, what are the things that we did correctly and what are the things that we did not do correctly and I think there are a the couple of things that we did right. One thing that I think we done correctly, and it's a, is planning. You know that you know the phrase: if you plan to, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. I believe that that the reason why we were able to finish it correctly is we at least planned it. We at least planned it in sprints. When in the, in the term of the three months, at the beginning of that month of starting development, we planned okay. We have sprint one, we have sprint two, sprint three, and it was a two week sprint. And each sprint, this is what we want to finish. So by the end of each sprint, we knew, okay, are we in the right track still? You know, do, do we finish this, this, this? If if we didn't finish something, you know, we will push it to the next sprint. But in the next sprint, we knew that we needed to work harder because we know that, you know, the sprint three and sprint four involve just as much as well. So this kind of kept us on track and knowing, and knowing what we have done and uh, if we're on track or not. Because with a lot of like university and college projects, you know, you, you just have like a group, a project where you just work and you don't care about, you know, planning. You just, you know, you just kind of have a basic rundown of what you want to do and you just kind of try to do it as fast as possible. Because <laughs> you're probably doing it like a week before. Could we have improved it? Yes, 100% we could have improved it. One of the things that we did not do is when we, when it came to an ending point where we finished pretty much all the features, Kind of didn't, we kind of stopped doing sprints and st stopped because our goal at that point was to get it finished and to get just any type of, you know, any type of error that we were getting, you know, to fix that error and that's pretty much it. Most of the features were done at this point. So again, our goal was to get it finished. So we didn't really worry too much about sprints. But in the beginning, you know, that was very important is, you know, to plan. And also, I mean, of, of course, make sure to talk with your group. You know, if you're in a group project, talk with the group about what your plan is, what you know, what are you planning on finishing by this week, what are you planning on finishing by the next week, and just communication. And I feel like one of the things that we, we could have improved and we also got you know fairly good at is like communication and trying to understand and trying like to you know 
provide as much information for each group member as possible so we're not like off track. That's my recommendation for any group project. Again, you know, I've been, you know, I'm in the university for four years, so at least I have some experience. You know, we have, I've had successful projects, I've had not very successful projects. Um, and the successful projects have really been successful due to planning and due to communication and team communication. And sometimes, you know, sometimes your teammates may not want to communicate very well, which has happened to me before, you know, where your teammates just doesn't give a shit pretty much. You know, well, in that case, you, you don't give a shit about him either, and you just do your own work, and you can either say something to the teacher, and you can basically, or not be, not be, not be with him in the group the next time. Just don't know how you can do that. But that's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Obviously, I'm still trying to develop this whole process and trying to understand what to change it, what to make better. You know, but I have learned something for over the past four years at university and over the past four years of doing all these projects constantly. And so yeah, that's my recommendation. Hope you guys, you know, took something away from it and maybe apply it somewhere. And you know, in that case, uh, there's only one thing I can say. Stay happy, developers. Nice, Mia.